Hello, in this video we're going to take a further look at variables and we're going to look at adding numbers together. Um, if you feel confused at this stage, uh, that's absolutely normal. You probably should feel confused, um, but uh, things are going to get clearer as you go through the course. As long as you practice what we're doing, it's very important that you try, try this out for yourself. Um, incidentally, uh, you might wonder what kinds of variables there are in Java, and we're going to be looking that looking at that in the course. But for now, um, I just want to direct your attention to a page. If you type into a search engine Java primitive primitive types, and maybe click on one of these links, let's go to the sort of official Oracle documentation, primitive data types in Java. And you can see here, don't you don't have to read this or anything, but you can see that there's, there are various types listed and int is one of them. You can also see that it has a maximum value that we can put in it. That's um, two to the power of 31 minus one. There's a reason why it's such a strange kind of value, but we needn't go into that. And the minimum value you can put in is minus 2 to the power of 31. Okay, don't worry about that though. Um, let's have a look then. So what, what can we do with this? Well, one thing we can do is addition. And uh, in fact, the way I've written this here is unnecessarily verbose. We can do this uh, more briefly, more quickly. So um, I've declared a variable here. I've declared a variable called cats, and here I've assigned the value 7 to the variable cats. We can do that in one single step. Before we do that, let's create a duplicate of our project. And if you're working on um, code uh, and you've got something that works, and then you don't want to disturb that, um, or it's possible that you might mess it up with how you're about to change it, it's a really good idea to take a copy of it. Either that, or you could use a version control system like Git, for example, but um, we're just going to make a copy. So I'm going to right-click my project and go to Copy. I'm just going to click in a blank space in Eclipse in the Package Explorer. Right-click and go to Paste. And um, we can give this a new name now. Let's call it Addition. And click Copy. So now we've got a new project. Um, I would recommend creating projects from scratch until you you feel completely familiar with that rather than just copying projects. But anyway, um, so let's run that. So I'm going to select my, my app, click Run, and it runs just as before. But now let's delete this um, int cats and... Um, so now we've got an error. Why have we got an error? It's because, let's hover over the error. It says cats cannot be resolved to a variable. That's because I'm trying to output the value contained in this cats variable, but I haven't declared the cats variable and I haven't assigned the value to it. What we're going to do now is declare it and assign a value in a single step. Now this has to be above where you're using the variable. So wherever you use a variable, Above that somewhere in your code, you have to declare it. So um, let's write int cats equals 7. So I'm declaring it and I'm assigning a value to it in one single step. Remember, uh, your program is going to execute line by line. So it's going to go down your code, your code block here. And that's why we've, we've first got to declare a variable before we can use it. Um, it has to be above. Uh, because this is going to get read uh, by the Java runtime environment before this is read and executed. Okay, um, so that, that will do the same as the program we had before. We can run it and it just outputs 7. Now let's say we've also got dogs. So um, let's write int dogs equals, uh, let's say we've got 5 dogs. And by some miracle, we can stop the dogs eating the cats. Again, we've got a warning because we've not used the value of dogs yet. What I'm going to do is add these together. 
And to do that, I need a third variable. I'm going to type int total equals cats plus dogs. And then using my system.out.print line, I'm going to output the value of total. It should be 12. So let's, let's run this. And down here we have 12. What have we done here? Um, so we declare a variable called cats and assign the value 7 to it. We declare a variable called dogs, assign the value 5 to it. And then we declare a variable called total. And the value that we assign to total is the number of cats plus the number of dogs. And then we output it. Try that for yourself. Um, if you, uh, it, it is easy to make mistakes here. So for example, you can't have two variables called cats in, in your code block here. If we try that, we get an error. If we hover over the error, it says duplicate local variable cats. Let's delete the second one. In fact, in Eclipse, if I just put my cursor on a line and then in the Mac, if I do Command D, or in Windows, I think it would be Control D, that deletes the line. So it's quite a handy shortcut. Control D or Command D to delete a line. Um, if, if I'm giving any, any of the wrong shortcuts for Windows, you can always uh, type into a search engine something like um, Eclipse shortcuts, Eclipse shortcut keys, something like that, and you'll find a whole list quite easily. Okay, so try replicating this program. Try changing these numbers to different numbers and see if it still works. Uh, you can also try giving them different names so they don't have to be cats, dogs, and total. You might run into problems. You can't have spaces in variable names. You can't have punctuation in there. Uh, you should always start them with a lowercase first letter. That is very important. Without that, your program will work. So I, I could write total here with a capital T and it would still run probably. Well, it would do if I, I have to change both of them, of course. Um, well, that's not obvious. Let me explain that. Let's run this. So that works with a capital T on total, for example, or I could put a capital C cats or a capital D on dogs, but it's very bad practice. The standard in Java is that variables start with a lowercase first letter. So if you're using the conventional coding style in Java, which we are, you should always start your variables with a lowercase first letter. Don't do anything crazy with them. For the moment, just keep them all lowercase. Uh, and notice that Java is case sensitive. So um, a variable called dogs with a capital D is different to a variable called dogs with a lowercase d. See, that's only a warning. Whereas if I had lowercase d, I get an error. Seems to be some street cleaning taking place outside. Apologies for the noise. Okay, anyway, so let's get rid of that. What we, what we want to aim for at the moment is creating legal, reasonable code written in the standard style. So create something that looks like this and try it out. And try tweaking it. Change the numbers, change the variable names. See if you can get it to work. And don't, don't forget that if you change cats here, you have to change the name of it here as well. Um, the same for all of these variables. You have to be consistent. Okay, have a go at that. And until next time, happy coding.